I mean, you've been in Vienna, you, you've been in the presence of His Royal Highness, etc. He took the heat out of this back quarter by going for extension of the unilateral cut of a million barrels a day. What is the real risk that they will step back from that? Because essentially that's their way of creating the flaw in this market. What is it that could force them to do that? In Calgary last week he said we're not going back to the 1980s. Do you think that they are sufficiently, as he likes to see himself, the central banker of oil for the world? Are they politically enough aware to know how injurious 105, 110 would be? Yeah, I think, Manus, the odds are like are higher than the market is currently discounting that the Saudis will take their foot off the brake sooner, right? They do not want to deliberately over tighten the market because if you get a spike, then you get the demand collapse and you get a bust. They don't want that. So I think as we look at October, in a few weeks, they'll make a decision. In, in November, they'll decide about liftings. And they slip some, some hints in there. In the announcement on the extension, the Saudis said, look, we're going to still review things yeah. every month. And they said we could increase production, whereas in the past they had only said we will cut or extend these, these cuts. So I think that he's dropping lines in the white. He's dropping signals that uh, we're maybe getting close to the point where his point has been made. Risks mm -hmm. have been mitigated to the downside, and he can start to play that central banker ro role and ease up. Mm. We're not there yet, but we're getting closer.